motivation and staying motivated is one of the hardest things about being an independent filmmaker. Because at the end of the day, you are the only engine that's pushing this project forward. And so it's great if you have a team and you can split up some of that energy, but oftentimes at some point, it's just going to be you. And you are the only thing standing in the way of getting this project done. So what do you do? Because motivation and staying motivated is a lot like going to the gym where we don't really want to do it. (laughs) Even though we know we need to, even though we really should, even though it's the best thing for us, all of that stuff can be really difficult. So I'm here to tell you that it's okay if today you got nothing done on your project. And it's okay if you got nothing done yesterday. And it's okay if you get nothing done tomorrow. Because what you really need to do is figure out how to best work with your work ethic. The ebbs and flows of when you work best. Because I have found that like the age old advice that if you want to be a writer, you should write every day. That just doesn't work for me, but I can go weeks or months writing little notes here, thinking about things, mulling over a project, and then spend an entire weekend pounding out the first draft and where I'm writing eight to 10 hours, three days straight. So my work energy tends to work better when I have a dedicated amount of time to just focus on it and get it done in one fell swoop. Other things, especially like with pre-production, I know that I need to take a little bite of it every single day. So when you're in development and pre-production, you can set yourself a goal. I'm going to email five people today. I'm going to follow up on this lead. I'm going to submit this whatever it is. But it's also best to know when your best times to work are. I am not naturally a morning person. And I need to wake up, I need to have coffee, I need to think about my day, I need to read, I need to do anything that's not productive for the first hour or two in the morning. Unless I, you know, am on set or have to go teach a class. Well, then of course, you know, I'll be there. But my natural work energy taps in at about 10 a.m. And I can get a lot done in the next few hours. And then I kind of tap out. You know, I used to have a lot more energy when I was younger in the evening. And I would get a lot done at like 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. That just doesn't work for me anymore. But don't fight those natural instincts for when you want to work. Work with them. Try to make them work for you. Try to be efficient. Because otherwise you're just going to be fighting yourself the entire time. And that's a motivation killer. So give yourself some grace that it's okay if you only got part of your to-do list done. If you only got one thing off your list, if you got nothing off your list, it's okay. But you want to be able to look back in a week or in a month or in six months and feel like you have made some progress. And so that's the goal. Look at the longer term. What can you get done in the next couple of months and then strategize towards that. Set realistic goals. And ask for help when you're burning out and you just can't do it alone anymore. So, good luck.